Welcome everybody to Brew Pub Simulator. Quit your day job, open a bar, decorate the place, create your own beer, and design your labels. Keep your kegs full and your customers happy and never stop growing. This is developed by Star Drifters and published by Movie Games SA, an up and coming simulator that comes out very, very soon actually, June 12th. So we're just a few days away uh, from this game's release. Uh, check this out. If you really like what you see in today's video, add it to your wishes and all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to be doing a let's look at this will be just a let's look at of brew pub simulator to see if you know this is you know fits our fancy if you do enjoy this and you want to see me play it possibly even a live stream when it does come out fully come out uh let me know hit the like button comment down below that tells me you want to see this come to the channel and i'd be glad to bring it to you as a series here on the channel now without with that being said uh, i think it's time for us to jump into a new game of brew pub simulator just so you know this is a not the final version of the game this is kind of like a pre-built uh demo version ish kind of uh, it's right there it says in the big d right there demo uh version so what you see in today's game if there's any bugs any things like that it's not a full representation of the game and also uh there's not all the assets in the game as well like decoration pieces yes, and like that's that me no, not the fruit of Einstein's loins. I'm the one in the back, the oh. handsome one. My education ended faster than my family wished, but it still lasted too long for my taste. What I got out of college was mostly furniture for my cluttered apartment. Well, <laughs> and acquaintances for life. I had already resigned myself to being back under my mother's wing when I received a letter from California. Uh, what? It smelled of hops and dirty rag and evoked a vague memory of a lost tradition. The letter was written by my grandpa's lawyer, the old guy died alone, which is not surprising because his only love was brewing beer. He even claimed that our family came from a long line of master brewers from Europe, something like Assassin's Mead. So, get this, my grandpa left me in charge of his bar. And let me tell you, this could be my big break. I'll pay off my family and prove to them who deserves to be called the beer king of California. But I think <laughs> I'll start by some hard cleaning and scraping the mold off the ceiling. The beer king of California, oh, this fits perfect for me. Then, huh? Holy crap. Beer king of California. We'll see about that. If my watch is running well, you should have just arrived at our beautiful town. Well, it is. I mean, it's a beautiful town. I'm trying to see, like, um, well, downtown west at its best. Okay. Lucky for you, the brew pub is located across the street. Oh, I see. No traffic? Uh, we all jaywalk here. That's good to know. Good, at least I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, fully, uh, wrong. <laughs> Just jaywalk. No problem. Cars park, people walk. Got it. Without further ado, my name is Harvey, and I am your family's lawyer. You're the same voice actor as the guy, huh? Your grandfather transferred this beautiful bar to you. However, there's one catch. Your grandfather wrote a list of requirements that you must fulfill in order to fully own the bar. After completing a specific requirement, I will get in touch with you and give you instructions for the next task. <laughs> okay, let's start from the top of the list. Get the bar ready to open. Okay, we can do that. Don't worry, I'm sure that when you enter the venue, your brewing inner sense inherited from your grandfather will jumpstart and you'll know what to do. Dude, I love that guy's shirt, by the way. Brewing inner sense, you say? I see I've got a lot of work to do, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Let's take a closer look. I do kind of like that. There's like this uh, story the going on. The life of a bartender. Picking up trash. At least I'm not picking up my ex's broken dreams. My ex's broken dreams? Oh, Lord. Okay. Pick up the trash? No problem. Yeah, I do like that there's a uh, story to this, kind of. It's kind of nice. You don't get a lot of that, you know, with simulators nowadays. Oh, you just walk right on in. Oh, nice. Well, hello. Pick up trash inside, too. Wow, this is a very, very small-looking bar here. There we go. I wonder how this is going to work. Um... If we will, like, be able to, like, go to different locations, or if this is, like, the one and done, like, all we get for the entire, you know, game. I don't know. Definitely a good, uh, good question to be asked here. Here we are. Oh, that's a photo. I guess we'll place that right on the wall there. That's pretty cool. So far, I mean, honestly, oh, God, that's a jukebox. So far, the, um, 
The game feels pretty good. Can I actually place this anywhere else? Looks like I gotta clean the, uh, the little bit of uh, garbage on the ground, or at least, yeah, a little bit of dirt there. Yeah. Look at the wallpapers even kind of torn up a bit. Throw the dumpster into the bag, or into the, or throw the bag into the dumpster, not throw the dumpster into the bag. Oh, wow, look at this. Back here, this is kind of cool. And okay, we'll just place that right there, very good. Time to start cleaning the dirt. Yeah, I agree. So pick up the mop. Okay. And the wiping cloth, very cool. Skill acquired. A freaking robot. Got it. By the lords of food poisoning and cat piss, I have the sweeping power. I, what? The hell did you just say to me? Okay. I'm gonna start taking out some of this stuff too, though, you know? Now, I will say, I am, I don't know anything about brewing. <laughs> I have no knowledge of uh, making the beer. So hopefully, if I were to play more of this game, that I get a nice little idea of how to do certain things, you know, like how to make a brew or something rather. I'm going to let the game teach me because I have no idea how to make brew, dude. There we go. That's pretty cool. This is a new kind of like, I say new mechanic. You know, some of these simulator games, you know, they kind of do things the same way. But this is a little bit different. I kind of like this. Yeah. You kind of like, you know, clean the radius. I like it. The circle. Now this jukebox, I really hope there ain't no copyright music. <laughs> or I will be a very upset forehead. There we go. Sorry, sir. I'm just cleaning up my bar. There we go. Come over here. There we are. Do a little bit of that. Perfect. People always used to say that the bar is like a canvas, and and I don't remember the rest, but maybe he meant painting the walls. Oh, should we paint the walls? Pick up the uh, material changer. Is that what that's called? The material changer. Finally, a chance to express my artistic vision. Let's hope the customers appreciate the abstract look. Abstract look. So press I to open up the inventory. Very well. Yeah. And then hit the, uh, what is that? Press the material changer to equip it. Ah, that's, that's exactly that. And then hold control to show the materials. Oh, wait a sec. This is just, uh, is this, okay, walls and tiles. Okay, so we got floor, brick walls, and, and we got the, uh, I guess, wait a sec. Do we have one wall? No, there's a brick wall. There's a green wall. And I'm, assuming, I'm assuming this is a uh, floor wood gray. I'm assuming is floor as well and bar desk brown as I'm assuming is floor. So maybe only two walls here. Um, let's go with the brick. Yeah, can we do that? Oh, perfect. Yeah. And like I said, um, all the decoration pieces, all the customization is not going to be in this video. You're not going to see it. It's an early build. You'll see it when it's all full release and all that. Oh, did I answer my phone? I forgot to tell you, I received a package for you. Oh. There should be some useful things in there. Thanks to our regional ninja couriers, the package should already be with you. Just like an Amazon Dropbox locker thingamabobber. Use a locker, send, or use to receive. We want to receive. Ah, unpack. Chair, tables added. Cool. Who are you, sir, again? What do we have here? Perfect. Exactly what I need right now. So some chairs and some uh, tables. All right. Very well. Let's get those down. A nice... Wow, that's a small table. No? <laughs> it looks kind of short. No? Maybe not. There you go. There's a nice wooden table. Oh, well, it's a it's actually going to be four, huh? So we got to make sure we can do four. Um, right. Um... Let's place that there. We'll, we'll move this. Toggle radio? What does that do? Turn it off? Oh! Oh! It... Oh my god! Oh, it's internet radio! It's internet radio. Okay. No, no, no! 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 Put it back! Put it back! Put it back! Oh, Lord have mercy. Internet radio is in this game. That's kind of cool, though. I dig it. I mean, it's not good for my situation, but it's probably good for your situation, right? At home. I like it. All right. Internet radio in this game through the jukebox. Pretty cool. Pretty fun. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see if I place this bad boy maybe like right there. 
What is this? The restrooms? Okay, maybe not like get hit by the restroom door when it opens. Maybe slide it a bit right there. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll add the two or four chairs. Um, how easy is it to rotate? Let's see. Let's see. Pretty easy. Very good. All right, we'll put a chair right there. And then put a chair right here. And then one uh, right there. And then right there, right? Uh-oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not just because it's blocking the entrance to the other chair, possibly. So I might have to scoot this out just a tidbit, yeah? Right? Yeah, just a tidbit. Naming a bar is like uh, naming a child. Oh. You want it to be unique, memorable, and not end up in therapy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Naming a bar is like naming a child. You want it to be unique, memorable, and not end up in therapy. Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, he has a point. There we go. All right, cool. So go to the front of the bar to open the brew pub edit. Excuse me, what? Oh, brew pub edit. Oh, hey, how you doing? So set the name and the logo for your brew pub. Choose a strategy. What does that mean? Choose a strategy. Oh, dude, that's cool. So you can have like a dive bar, create your dive bar, bar. Visitors will not have expectations regarding the quality of the beer and the cleanliness of the premise. They would love if the beer is priced low. Okay. Casual, create a ca casual. Visitors will expect a good balance between uh, beer quality and the price. They will also pay attention to whether the premises are kept clean. Fancy, create a fancy bar. Visitors here will be able to pay more to taste your beer. However, you will have to pay more attention to the quality of the beer you serve because the customers will have high expectations. That's really cool. I like that. Now, I'm not going to go too into depth here with the logo and all that, because let's be honest, it's, uh, it's, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's, it's just the demo that we're doing here. So let's just kind of like send it very simple here. Possibly simple. That seems pretty simple. And then, you know, depending on if y'all like this, we'll, uh, we'll get into this even more here. Brew pub. This is the, uh, cans pub. Very generic, right? You gotta love it. Hex color. Uh, yeah, let's make it white. Can you actually change the font? You can. Ooh. Background color. Well, there's no background. The logo, I think we're gonna keep it a green. Red. The logo's kind of driving me nuts, isn't it? <laughs> it's driving someone nuts, I know. Yeah, there we go. I like that better. Perfect. That's pretty neat. I like it. Doesn't go together, but, you know, it is what it is. Hello? I just remembered something. Recently, an old friend of your grandpa's brought some beer to the brewery for him to try. Oh. Prove your worth as a brewer by selling this beer down to the very last drop. I will try. Free beer? Ready to serve? How suspiciously convenient. I agree. All right, so, uh, find and connect the keg and find the keg in the brewing area. Very well. Okay, I have the beer. Now I just need to hook it up to the tap. American Pale Ale, uh, uh, 10 liters. Okay, so we hook it up to the tap, connect the hose to this, to that. We have now connected, yeah. Disconnect the tube, try again. Perfect. And then, Done. Now something tells what is this, me the CO2? The beer to the menu. Otherwise, customers won't know what's on offer. Okay. Add it to the menu. Oh, that's pretty cool. Interact with the menu. Oh, that's awesome. American Pale Ale. Four days left. I wonder what four days left mean. I guess maybe four days left of inventory or four days left of it being good. Regardless, we're adding it to the menu. That should do it. Cool. Okay, I have the beer, but I still need something to serve it in. Look at the menu there. It shows like the circle and the dash, dash, dash. That looks like an Xbox like start symbol. So I wonder if... This control or if this game's gonna be controller supported too. You still need to have something to serve it in. Directly into mouths is not an option, at least not until spring break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we have ten dollars. So press T to open up the tablet. Go to the shop. Add any. What is that? Add any box with glasses to your cart. Press order to purchase it. Okay. Any glass. Everybody will drink out of a bowl here. No. Uh, American pint glass. Just simple. Dude, that love that. <laughs> A boot glass, that's so good. Look at this stuff, dude. It's pretty cool. We'll just do simple, simple. Add it to the cart. 
We only can afford one, right? Yeah, we can only afford one, so order. Anything else? Maybe cost $4? No, everything costs $6. Okay, the package awaits at your delivery locker. Very well. There we go. Added to the inventory. Oh, six American pint glasses. So that was six, not one. So now unpack the delivery box and pick the box with glasses from your inventory. Oh, do I have to actually put them out? Look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Unpack here. Oh, that's cool. The party's about to start. Or to be specific, a seven hour shift. That's really cool. I like that. Look at the open sign and open it up. Hey, we're open. Looks like it's going to be a busy night. Better At the Cans Pub. For the beer tsunami. Okay. What, for the what to the what? To the beer tsunami? Uh oh. Hello, sir. Okay. Well, oh. Take the glass. Pour the beer and serve it to the customer. Don't Hello. be shy. Piece of cake, right? Welcome, sir. Welcome to the uh Cans Pub. You are uh you're no comment. Welcome to uh, California. That's all I got for you. Uh, how much do I have to pour in here? 500 milliliters? How much did I just put in there? Said, uh, uh, sir, is this enough? <laughs> uh, sir, have a great day, I guess. Oh, my Lord. Oh, you can actually see, like, uh, stats on the customers, too. Okay, so take the glass from the shelf behind the bar. Look at the beer tab. Okay. Place it there. There's dirt, apparently. Apparently, we're dirty. Why we have to be dirty? I don't know. Okay, press the beer tap and enter the pouring view. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Try again. <laughs> there you go. Um, Look at the beer tap and press to enter the pouring view. Um, serve? Have a great day? I don't know what the pouring view is. Hello, miss. How are you? Drink anything cheap. Very well. I got you. Just don't, you know, I, I'm already down a freaking uh, a thing here. So I'm, uh, okay. I'm a little bit dirty here. So you got to clean the dirt before you have it. There you go. Y'all are very, uh, very, very, uh, very upset with me and i agree i agree i agree i'm running out of glasses i already broke a glass i don't know what to say uh oh uh oh there we go grab that glass there we go hello how are you i hope i'm doing this right what, what's your name do you have any names y'all don't have any names y'all are just here for me there you go ask the customer to leave the pub are you back for round two sir hello I, I respect your uh, your patronage. There you go. Am I out? Am I missing? Am I missing the hole? I think I'm missing the hole. Oh, no. No, put it in. Perfect. In. In my... Hello. <laughs> I don't know what the heck's happening. Um, right. Uh... Did you guys give me any tips? Three dollars? I appreciate that. Um, so just hold on. I, I, I've, I've done forget how to uh, pour a glass of beer now. Oh my god, that was like super on point. Have a great day. I have no more beer. No more beer glasses. I need uh, the... Oh, there's dirty ones over there. Hang on. I gotta clean them up. Now, I don't know uh, what this whole like... Look at the beer tap and press L, you know. I mean, we. I think we've done did that. I don't know if it's working correctly. But regardless, we'll continue. We'll wash this out, I think. Did I do it? Is that is that clean? Oh, I think that's clean. Place that there. Send it. Oh, God. Place it there. Perfect. There we go. Just give me any beer, a customer says. Darn. I definitely need to clean this glass. A dirty glass in a pub is like a fly in the soup in a restaurant. Uh, okay. Hang on, let me put the dirty glasses over here. Sir, uh, let me clean this up. How do you guys get everything so dirty? How did the flies come in so fast? My lord. I have so many questions. Hang on, hang on. Ma'am, hang on. I'm uh, currently uh, 
doing this. I wonder if you'll be able to hire help in the future, too. There you go. All right. Thank you. I know. I know. I know. You're very, very upset. Pick up the dirty glass. Place it in there. Wash it. Perfect. Use the sink. Place this right here for future reference. Hey, okay. It's a dirty spot. Never mind. Do that. Grab a little bit of this. Uh-oh. Do a little bit of that action. Perfect. Give me this. Is this a clean glass or dirty glass? I guess this is dirty. They're all dirty. There we go. That's clean now. Oh, my God. I'm like... I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm... Hang on, ma'am. There you go, ma'am. Have a good one. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for the tip, too. I appreciate that, even though I took a very long time. Hello. Oh, God. What, what would you like to have? Uh, okay. It doesn't really say exactly what they want, right? Regardless, I hope I'm pouring this pouring this correctly. Like, they have enough... Uh, they're getting enough beer. <laughs> Are you guys getting enough beer in there? There we go. There's enough beer right there for you, sir. Let me clean that up, too. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh, am I supposed to use the sink in the back? Wait, I'm supposed to use this sink to clean it. What the heck? Why are we cleaning this? We got one in the front. Uh-oh. Control and move until you get rid of the water inside. Oh, God. Oh, God. There you go. Okay. This looks dirtier. Is it clean? <laughs> Why don't we just use the glass washer? Is that not the right thing to do? Oh my god, hello, sir. Just give me any beer. Okay, right on your way. Hang on. Sir, just time out. I had to go... Apparently, I had to go into the back to, to clean your damn beer, or beer glass. I don't know why. Did we run out of beer? I think we ran out of beer. We did run out of beer. We are out of beer. We need to close. We closed the bar in like 50 seconds, says in the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna grab these dirty dishes, glasses, this... Sorry, sir. Wow, what a wonderful first day. I don't know, did we do well? I can't imagine we did. I don't know why we couldn't like clean the glass in the, in the, in the, in the, in that sink right there, but it's, you know, I don't make the rules here, I guess. This is, the bar runs me, I don't run it right now. I gotta level up, level up my game. Thank you, sir, for putting that right there, literally, and not just like, you know, handing it well, off I to guess me. Well, cleaning in a bar is part of the profession. I guess. Pick up trash left by the customer. All right, that's very rude. Sell the remaining beer. Is empty. Done. I think the customers will understand if I close the place a little earlier. You think they'll understand? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll understand because we have no beer. Close. We've unlocked a new item, a bar stool. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> a tall rounded table. Perfect. Holy moly. Today's reviews. I'm out. Six rating. Three out of five. Orders, 12. Finished orders, 10. So we missed two orders. Ear income, $40. Other income, $9. Total expenses, $6. I think that was because I smashed a cup. I accidentally broke a cup. But we made $43.11 today. Does that count the tips that we got, too? I have to be careful and watch over the beer fountain. I don't want the customers to burn me at the stake. Excuse me, what? Look at the sign and press... Dun dun to close the bar. Oh, we've already did that. Oh, shoot, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, um. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we... Looks like it's gonna be a busy night. Oh, no! Brace yourself for the beer tsunami. Close! There we go. I think we kind of messed up the little bit of the tutorial there. I think we confused the game. Okay. There we go. Answer the call. I heard that the bar is inviting customers again for a good old pint. That means you completed the first challenge from the old man. We did. Kind of. But we kind of made it like... Oh no! I broke the glass! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh fricker. That's too cool. I mean, if the glass is on the edge and it falls and it breaks, that's realistic. I love it. I love it. I think that's cool, so don't put it on the edge of the thing. <laughs> that means you completed the first challenge from the old man. Proven that Thank you. you have a good head on your shoulders. We have four cups now. We had six. Now we're down to four. We might need to like, I don't know. Possibly order more cups. We can move on to the next challenge on the list. Alright, so what's next? Hey you come here. 
Uh oh, is that the guy outside? Albatross. I've been watching you since you arrived. I see potential in you. I left something for you in the parcel locker. Oh. You'll figure out the rest on your own. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Make people happy. Okay, that was something. What did we get? A bag of yeast, a pot, light mall extract. Very well. American Pale Ale, new recipe unlocked. Does that mean we get to try to do this? Yeah. Navigate to recipes. Um, oh, down here. Recipes. So pin the recipes of the American Pale Ale. So there's a lot of different things that we got here. There's easy, there's medium, and there's hard. We'll pin the recipe, right? Close the tablet. Oh, goodness gracious. So pick up the pot. Is this the pot? That's the fermentation bucket. Where's our pot? Is it in here? Oh, wait. What's back there? I want to see what's back there. Is that like a to-go thing? Um, trash can. This, that. Okay. So, oh, wait. Do we have to actually, like, put down? Take the pot from your inventory. Yeah. So, we have the pot. Pour the pot. Or pour water into the pot. 5,300 milliliters. Which I guess is 5 liters. 5.52 liters. That's a little off, but that's all right. Um, all right, so now place the pot on the stove. Okay, there we go. Pick up the uh, light malt extract. Light malt extract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour it in here. How much do we need? 1,300 milliliters of it? So five. Five. One, two, three. Perfect. All right, great. Now the bag of hops. Let's get the bag of hops, right? Cascade hops. Is that what this is? Okay, look at the impress this to end the hops. How much hops do we need? 10 grams of hops. In. Now exit the pouring. Very well. Oh, God, that's not how we exit. Okay, so we have the hops in. Turn the stove on. Uh oh, I just dropped the hops on the ground. Maybe I could put this over here. Oh, nice. Oh, God. I place that right there, yeah? Nice. Cool. I like that. Let's turn this on. Wait till the water boils at 100 Celsius. Okay. Let's see the little bit of... Okay, so there we go. You see the little Celsius going up there, the red, above the pot. It is now boiling. Boil for 60 minutes. You can check the boiling time by looking at the pot. Okay, so boiling for 5 minutes. We just got to boil that for 60 minutes. Very well. America Pale Ale, alcohol 45 to 6.2%, IBU 25 to 35, SRM 5 to 8. These things are, I have no idea what the hell they are. Water, light malt, cascade, and then yeast, right? Where are we at now? 20, almost 30 minutes already. Oh, IBU is bitterness. Oh, okay. Bitterness, and then SRM is color. Nice. So it does, I mean, if you've never really, like, brewed anything, like, you know, made your own ale before, which I can't imagine a lot of people have, you can really, um, kind of, like, get an idea of this kind of thing. This is pretty cool. We're almost there at 60 minutes. And then I'm assuming we just turn it off. Right? Turn off the stove. Did I turn it off? I did. Okay, so it's off. So turn off the stove and wait until the mixture cools down. For the room temperature of 21 Celsius. So we can't just take it off right away. We got to make sure it cools down first. Room temperature 21 Celsius. There we go. We've done it. So pick up the bag of the bag with yeast. So wait, pick up the bag with yeast. Okay, we have the yeast. Walk to the pot. Put the yeast in, I guess. How much do we need to put in here? Five, five, wait, five grams. Uh oh. Five grams of yeast. I don't know what that uh, that turns into milliliters. Uh, huh? <laughs> Five milliliters. I guess is grams. No, it's not. I think that's uh, I think that's wrong. Maybe <laughs> I think that's a little wrong. But we put five in, and it seems to be doing the job. So that's fine. So pick up the pot. All right. Place that there. We now have the pot. So now walk to the fermentation bucket and start pouring it in there. Can we pour all of this in there? Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want it to miss. 
Uh, how do I not make it miss? Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 you can move with the mouse. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Okay, move with the mouse and then the... Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. And the red is where it's all going to go in there. Pour it all in there, right? There we go. Did everything. It's all out. Place the pot. We'll just place the pot right here for now. All right, so look at the fermentation with E. Toggle the lid on it. Congratulations. Now you have to wait until your beer ferminates. Great. How long does that take? Weeks? Months? Days? Depends. What the heck just happened? So brew summary. Beer style American ale. Five out of five? Question mark. Exciting for... Oh, three days. So that's what that means. So that means it's exciting. So how long the beer... How long the beer... How long will the beer be exciting to the customers? They will leave higher tips. So for the next three days, it's going to be exciting. And then I guess five days after that is cool down day. So how long the beer will have to wait until becoming exciting again? Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. You can even edit the beer too. Wow, look at that. So set the name, price, and a label for the beer. Okay, this is the uh, American Light. Baby, you can't put that many letters. Okay, that is the American Dream then. Edit the label. Oh, look at that. You can actually put its own label on it and everything. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's really cool. Highly customizable. Uh, highly custom. Highly customizable. My lord. Pretty cool. Um, I guess like F. <laughs> there you go. The American Dream Baby. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh my lord. Um, background. Something. Uh, I don't even know, dude. Black, maybe? With like a... A better... Again, I don't want to get too, too in-depth into this, but... It's kind of cool to see, no? It is cool to see all the different kinds of things. Maybe no background? With the ribbon? A different color, maybe? The American Dream, baby. There you go. How much will this cost? I don't know. We were selling it for four bucks before. Uh, it's not unheard of for a six dollar beer. Maybe a six dollar beer. There you go. Press U to unpin the recipe now. Perfect. You know, I'm something of a brewer myself. I can assess the potential of beer and the brewer just by smelling. Oh. I think you can even make some money from this beer. Well, that's the uh, idea, sir. That's all I've got for you for now. Now go away and make people happy. Yeah. I believe this guy has some backstory. Anyway, the beer is ready. I need to transfer it to the keg, connect it, add it to the menu, and people will be able to taste the fruits of my labor. That's right. All right, so let's see here. So uh, pick up the fermentation bucket. Done did. Do I need to do the lid? And then drop it near, near the beer keg. Okay. Disconnect the cable. Disconnect the beer keg. Okay. And then pick up the connection to. And look at the fermentation. Connect that into the beer keg. And then put the fermentation bucket higher than the beer keg. Like that. And then look at the fer fermentation bucket with E. Or wait. Fermentation and press Q to disconnect. Wait. Do I have to like... Um, did I do it? Is it already in? Oh, it is. It's already in. Oh, that was simple. Right? No. Wait a sec. No, that didn't go in. And then... <laughs> it's higher. But... Oh, God. Do I have to tilt it? Oh, God. Pick up the connection to. Look at the beer keg. Place it in there. Uh, the we, uh, we don't have it. The, depending on how good this no, 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 no. The beer, the, the, the beer's not in there. The beer's still in there, dude. So you gotta, like, do this to this to this to this to this to this. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> um. It's above. 
Is it not? I don't want to like... Oh god. I don't know, dude. I'm not sure. It said to put it above, right? I don't know if we have to like actually set it up there above, above. Oh! Is it in there now? Okay, now this is empty. Okay, I see. Very strange. Uh, so then we can disconnect. Grab the tube. Now this is in there. And do that. Okay. That was very strange. Look at the menu. Add the American Dream. Close it. Great. And get people in here, right? But, like, honestly, we need more glasses. Absolutely, we need more glasses. If we're ever going to make and sell the American Dream. Now, this is really cool how the menu looks. I do have to say. For sure. But, before I do that with the American Dream... I gotta let, I gotta go, I gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, that's the Let's Look At, a brew pub simulator, yeah. This has been a Let's Look At, if you want to see this game on the channel, I'll be more than happy to stream it on the channel, no problem, but this has been a Let's Look At, of the brew pub simulator game, coming out June 12th, hit the like button if you want to see more, comment down below if you want to see more, add it to your wishlist if you really enjoyed it, and uh, with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video or stream, wherever that may be, do as always. Take care.